you used this guy during his life and that now you are very morbidly using his death to continue to promote your restaurant. I absolutely agree. <laughs> oh! Dr. John is a savage! <laughs> he like, yep. What you gonna do about it, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Very sick way his death has gotten the message out further. So this man's death has not given you pause at all. Zero pause. You got this dude don't care. Hey, this dude, this dude's got a picture of him on the wall of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. This, this dude true. does not care. No, he don't. Hello everyone, I'm Ken, this is Buff Pro, and we are checking out a clip from ABC News called Heart Attack Grill, a monument to greasy gluttony. Now, if you was going to eat a place called Heart Attack Grill, what would you expect to eat there? Be honest, I figured I'd met Heart Attack Grill on a dating site. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize this was a restaurant. I had my hopes up. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Wait, what? Them grills have some crazy names sometimes, man. You know, like <laughs> all them grills. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> well, this is apparently a place out in uh, Vegas or somewhere, and and they pretty much celebrate eating until you have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And they're proud of it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, if this is your first or your fifth video, please hit the subscribe button. We appreciate you. Uh, you can check out Buff Pro on Buff Pro on YouTube and Twitch. And then, yeah, subscribe, please. Go to 10 million. We'll get there eventually. Let's get it. I hope sooner than later. Most restaurants having three customers suffer heart attacks after eating at the establishment would be a source of great concern and shame. Something to be minimized and explained away. But not at one spot where they actually promote how unhealthy it is. Well, th this is what every American restaurant should be right here, Dane. Exactly. Honest with themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Honest. I like it, let's go. Bring free meals to its most obese patrons and even celebrating a death on the premises. It's aptly named the Heart Attack Grill. In the Heart Attack Grill, they're like, oh, somebody died here because they ate these burgers. Woo! Look at that. It's delicious. Jeez. We sent ABC's Ryan Owens to check out their new digs in none other than Sin City. In a country with <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't do my boys like that. Hang on a second. Where our first lady has a vegetable garden, there is an alternative reality, and it looks like this. This. This dude just have a heart attack. They rolling him out right now? Bruh! They bringing him from the hospital? My man's just like, bruh, I survived. <laughs> I'm upset. And it looks like this. This monument to greasy gluttony. Almost there. Almost. <laughs> Dude's dressed up like a doctor and they all have patient outfits on. Is that a nurse back there? Oh my, there's even a huge stethoscope and pills. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the wall back here. They got all of the freaking fast food <laughs> restaurants and these Jesus in the middle. Oh. All right. Done with this uh, single mm. bypass. It's called the Heart Attack Grill. It's a defiant throwback to a pre-health obsessed America. I almost had a heart attack looking at that burger. Dude, how do you even, you gotta eat like the top layers of that burger before you can even like, open your mouth big enough to eat Yeah, the there's no way like, uh, you know, you gotta like, I don't know, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scooby Doo that bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> of hospital-themed Hooters, located where else? Sin City. Hospital-themed Hooters. This place still open, I gotta look. This is 2013 when this video was made. Hospital-themed Heart Hooters. attack. Heart attack grill, yeah! They, you can get dine or take out, but no delivery. We need to go. Shoot. I mean, maybe at my bucket list, the very last one, go to Heart Attack <laughs> Die there, they'll put me on the wall, maybe. It's all done in the name of promoting good health. One among us has to tell the truth. And that's what we're doing here. The heart okay, all right. That, uh, he, when he says that, he's talking about all the other fast food restaurants. He's like, one of us gotta tell the truth, all right? <laughs> it's us. <laughs> we, trying to, we trying to kill you, all right? The Tag Grill prides itself on pushing limits, along with belt sizes. Diner- I, like, I just love how they, they stick you in like the- <laughs> You don't need a bib, you just get the whole, yeah. the whole thing. ...must wear hospital gowns. People 350 pounds plus, Eat free. <laughs> wow! Hey man, you gotta, I bet this place makes money, man. I mean, unless everybody's there 350 pounds or over, you know. I mean, it ain't gonna be much longer. I'm gonna be eating there free if I keep going the way I'm going. <laughs> Their flatliner fries, cooked in lard, are unlimited. 
unlimited lard fries. Dude, you see all the lard. That was a lot of lard. Dude, that's like a whole bucket. That's like a 10 pound bucket just in there. Cooking it. Yeah, you, you get like a fry that's just straight lard. You're like, delicious. <laughs> Try the all butter fat shake. Or maybe a shot of vodka served in a prescription pill bottle. <laughs> That'll kill you too. You ain't supposed <laughs> to mix them either. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually surprised they got vegetables on these burgers right now. I'm being real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and new to this menu, a burger with eight patties, almost 20,000 calories. It, if you eat the whole thing, do you get it for free? That's the equivalent of nearly 40 Big Macs. Oh! oh my God. What they, they, they trying to give her a heart attack. They about to make this woman exercise right now? <laughs> <What is this? laughs> I don't know. Oh, and if you don't finish your meal, you get spanked. Oh, Oh, look at that dude right there is even like, God like, damn. Dang. Oh, I'm going and I ain't eating nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one, that one dude, that one video we did with a dude like, you know, spanks his wife when she pretends to be like a kid. He's, yeah. like, he's over there sweating right now watching this like, oh yeah. She's not Ow, exactly Lee. a real RN, but her Ooh. spankings are real, real hard. God, this woman, uh, she's throwing her shoulder out. She's throwing these things. Dang. Dang. Right at home among the tourist traps in downtown Las Vegas. Its owner, perhaps the ultimate Vegas showman. Are you going to finish your burger next time? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, you, you want another oh, one? Oh, crying. Like, oh, I'm trying to. I'm sorry, sir. Now breathe in for me. Dr. John has become something of a superstar in the fast food world. In his trademark over-the-top way, Oh, oh my God! I never heard of him before, but he's got to be a superstar if he's got a freak like this. Is the menu? How many is that? I don't Six know. Dollars? Twenty-five bacon slices. <laughs> Just four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you want thirty? Thirty miles? Uh. He depicts himself as Jesus Christ at the Last Supper, dining with the industry's other giant. Okay, got Taco Bell. What, what, what was this? Who was this? Uh. That was a pizza guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's so old. Oh my God. Is that Domino's? Yeah. 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 Freaking this is 90s oh, right there. Jeez. The restaurant was under fire after its nearly 600 pound spokesman, Blair Rivers, died of obesity related issues. That, that's their Jared right there, you know? Yeah. Except it's the, the opposite. Yeah, yeah. He got big here. Mm hmm. Actually, I probably shouldn't bring up Jared. I forgot what he did. Ooh. Oh God! Chris, Chris Hansen gonna come out and get him. <laughs> you used this guy during his life, and that now you are very morbidly using his death to continue to promote your restaurant. I absolutely agree. <laughs> oh, Dr. John is a savage. <laughs> he like, yep. What you gonna do about it, bro? Yeah. <laughs> he's making, he's raking it in right now, though. How I, I don't know how much he's raking in because. Freaking that huge burger for 15 bucks? I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know I don't the know. overhead. I mean, it may not be that much, really. Very sick way his death has gotten the message out further. So this man's death has not given you pause at all? Zero pause. You got this dude don't care. Hey, this, dude's, this dude's got a picture of him on the wall of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. This, this dude true. does not care. No, nah, he don't. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Hey, man, look. He dead, whatever. Y'all know how it is. In-house fatality rate. It hasn't slowed a bit. But how many people have actually had heart attacks in the room that we're sitting in? In the room that we're sitting in, we've had three heart attacks. I don't know the way you said that. In this room, three. Yeah. <laughs> the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I did the grandest of favors for because they now uniquely and in a very real way understand their own genetic shortcomings. They too weak for my burgers. Oh man! They now understand they can't be handling my burgers. All right. That's right. Now they're gonna try to go not eat this all the time. I wonder if they have a heart attack in the restaurant, they get to eat free. <laughs> like oh. congratulations, you can, free for life. Come back and see us. Oh my gosh! And I want to tell you something. They'll say it's grotesque. They'll yes, say how they will. how can you keep the man's cremation here? And I'll tell you something. This dude just pull the, uh, this is homie. the ashes of the dude that died and slap him on the table. Yep. It's like the face I want to make right now. Uh, it's, <laughs> and some people will say this is bad. Some people say it's grotesque. Yeah, most, most people 
except for you, would say this. And I'll tell you something. I am setting the bag on the table. Where people eat! The bag on the table where people eat! I'm talking about a bag of truth, about what's not going to happen if you don't listen to me. This will happen. This was a good man with hopes and dreams. Listen to him do what? What is this dude talking about? Is this, is this you don't want to end up like my homie here. Start eating better. <laughs> Unless you don't want to, is in that, which case you can come by here. Is that what he's saying? I, I, yeah. Okay. I, think, I, I, I feel like it is. I don't know. I can't tell if he's like extremely narcissistic or if it's like... Oh, it has to be. His character? What this, what's going on right now? <laughs> Who couldn't control his eating habits. Inside this bag are the remains of yet another spokesman, John Ailman. He ate... Ooh, man, John's feeling that one. That probably would put him in the grave right there. Hey. Well, he didn't make it to the grave. He just made it to the bag, and now he gets set on people's tables. Oh, my gosh. The, the old girl on TLC that we did that eats her husband ashes. She's over there sweating looking at that bag right now. Yeah. Like, Ooh. She's like, Ooh, dessert. I'm going straight to Heart Attack Grill. Where'd that bag at? Or we're going to end up exactly like my friend in the bag. Until then, Dr. John is the first to admit heart attacks are part of his business model. It's in the name. I mean, yeah. I don't know. yeah. And this is very obviously just like the guy was like, I got an idea. This heart attack grill, let's serve the most unhealthy food we can. Then dudes show up every day and he's like, ah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put your I'm gonna put your remains. Can you sign your body over to me so I can uh, cremate it and use the yeah. example? Did that heart attack pad my wallet with money? Absolutely. Did I enjoy that? Absolutely. Dang! He's a savage. He don't get he it. He is. It's like taking the sex sales model, but different. <laughs> you know? Hey, it's yeah, like yeah, you know. Here's the savage truth. <laughs> and I'm and I'm raking it in. Yeah, I mean, if he's watching this video, I'm sure he's loving it. Heck <laughs> yeah, more people. I'm a businessman first and foremost. Let's be clear about something. Yeah, don't the, <laughs> let my yeah. doctor outfit confuse you. I'm a businessman. I'm about to make some money. <laughs> if people are dumb enough to keep giving me their money and having heart attacks, then you know, whatever. That's their choice. Yeah. I don't want to see people dead. Now, if they do die here, I'm not going to lie to you. That's great for business. I'll say it again. Ah, we need to look this guy up. I, like, is he is he like in prison or like is he a serial killer? <laughs> yeah, a burger killer. <laughs> is John Peso a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Why did Heart Attack Grill close? Oh, that's back in 2011. Oh, yeah. Why is Heart Attack Grill cash only? Uh oh. You might die before the check clears. <laughs> oh man! I guess he's still kicking. I guess so. He's still still out there, you know. Obviously, don't eat the food because I mean he's looking a little trim. Yeah, he don't eat this. <laughs> he's like, nah, bro. Oh god, he went on. Did he go on freaking the news and like start shaking his bag at people? Is that even the same bag? Uh, that can't be an actual guy. It's like a prop, right? Yeah. John hopes to continue to grow and expand his morbid message to an even bigger audience, perhaps in a city near you. Fine, son. Keep eating. I'm Ryan Owen. <laughs> Fine, son. Keep eating. <laughs> uh, you're doing great, man. Keep going. Uh, you got you're not this. not quite there yet, buddy. <laughs> this food is bad for you. Would you like it? Yes? All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> Thank you for the money. Uh. Well, hey, let us know what you think about this video in the comments. We appreciate you. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Say toast, my friends. And I love you. More than these people that ate these burgers love themselves. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still going. <laughs> I'm still going. And I ain't eating nothing. Oh.